Will 11 feet of socket extensions alter your torque? And if so, how much? You cannot use extensions with a torque wrench. How many times have you heard that? But why? And why is it always said when dealing with smaller 3 8 and half inch drive, but I've never heard it in a diesel shop torquing lug nuts to 500 foot pounds when you need a 3 quarter inch drive extension? A torque wrench is a calibrated tool. It uses a set length to determine the leverage. A crow's foot should never be used because it changes the length of the torque device. This is a known fact. I mean, you can see it. There is a 90 degree rule with crow's feet, but I'll leave that for another day. What about extensions? The overall length of the torque device stays the same. It just moves further away from the fastener. Will that make a difference? Is there any truth to this urban legend? The answer may surprise you. As you can see, I have a couple of torque wrenches that I use regularly. I'll be doing some testing with this half-inch drive icon twin beam style at 50 foot-pounds. In order to confirm torque at the socket, I'll use this Quinn 3H drive torque adapter. This will merely be used to verify how much twist is on the socket itself. And I have a few extensions in my collection as well. But that also got me thinking. Isn't a deep socket technically an extension when compared to a shorty? Will that affect the reading? Will a short socket with an extension that's overall length is comparable to a deep socket give different results? There's too many rabbit holes to go down with this, so let's keep it simple. First, I'm going to back off this lug nut and then tighten it down to 50 foot-pounds with the icon. Next, I'll use the torque adapter to read what I just put on the lug nut. So like 46, 47 foot-pounds. Maybe my icon needs a bit of adjustment, but it doesn't matter. I'll use this as my baseline. Now with the shorty socket or extensions, we'll just compare to see if it changes anything. I've switched out the deep socket with the shorty, and I'm getting anywhere from 45 to 47, so not much of a change at all. Let's switch back to the deep and then add a 3 inch 3 8 extension. Forty-six, forty-seven again, no real change. Now let's try a six inch three eighths extension. Forty-six, forty-seven, barely forty-eight. No real change if you ask me. So next I'm going to stack the three and the six inch extensions and see if that does anything. Uh, about the same, 46, 47. Next I'll switch to the 10 inch extension, half inch drive. Mostly 47, some 46, no real change. Okay, so now the super long 24 inch 3 8 This one was interesting, maxing out at 45-ish foot-pounds. But this is cheap metal and it bends a lot easier than others. Maybe this is where the idea has some merit. If the extension is easy to twist, it may absorb some of the torque. Now let's test just the socket again for verification. And it's 45, 46, maybe 47 again. So no real change with any of these examples. Nothing I'd worry about anyway. So let's get a little crazy here. What if I used all my extensions? Half inch to three eighths to one quarter. 11 feet of extensions. Would that change anything? To do this, I had to move outside. The monstrosity was so wiggly I had to support it with two jack stands and even then it was hard to handle. I started out with the half inch icon driving everything and I was going to check it for the 50 foot pounds, but since I had some quarter inch drives in the mix now, I decided to go to my 3 8 torque wrench and shoot for 30 foot pound reading instead. But I needed a baseline first. 
When the 3 8 clicks at 30, the torque indicator reads about 27 and a half foot pounds. You can see all the extensions starting to rise up as they tension and take out all of the play. After torquing 11 feet of miscellaneous extensions, the indicator shows 26.5 to 27.2. Not bad at all. So what was the result of all these tests? Well, in my opinion, it didn't really affect the torque at all, no matter what extension we had on there. The only one that lowered torque enough to talk about was the 2 foot 3 8 extension, which is pretty cheap and soft. But at these lower torque settings, it's not really an issue. Will the difference be greater when the torque moves higher? I think it's safe to assume that it would. But for everyday automotive or home use, use an extension and don't worry about it. Really the main factor when choosing an extension is just to make sure it's high quality and thick enough that it won't twist when under a load. If you found this video informative, please like and subscribe. And if you have any comments about this topic, leave them down below so we can get a discussion going. As always, thanks for watching.